Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Joshua Hanna, your host at MetaHuman, and I'm here with Samir Santike, founder of Biostrap. Thanks for joining us, Samir. Thanks for having me, Joshua. Thanks. Uh, Absolutely. It. Yeah. So, Biostrap, it's like the comprehensive biometric device that tells you everything that's going on in your body. Right, exactly. Um, essentially, it's just a clinical grade pulse oximeter, takes raw waveform data and basically shows you the secrets that your body of your body essentially so physiology. so like uh so what kind of things so like you can basically track your sleep your movement yeah so th at, at the base of it it's a simple sensor set it's got movement sensors and it's got uh, heart rate sensors or what, what i call heart sensors with a clinical pulse ox yeah. oximeter which what it does is it just takes light and reflects it off your skin and what it captures is essentially this waveform which we then extract biometrics from. So heart rate, SpO2, which is how the oxygenated hemoglobin in your blood, mm -hmm. um, HRV, which is an awesome one that we can probably I can talk hours on, yeah. um, and respiratory rate, which is underutilized in my opinion um, and, and should be looked at more. Uh, those are just the four that we show in the app, but again, there's a lot of these things that we don't even show in our app that we do collect. Wow, so how does this help you in your day-to-day -day life, like improving your health? So it, the day-to-day -day life is less important. It's how your life is trending, if it makes sense. Gotcha. So day-to-day -day life really is small little puzzles and like stacks, you know, this creates basically the baseline. Mm -hmm. and, and we look at how is your body performing in a week, in a month, in a year, and then seeing those trends, that's quite more important to me than what happens today. Okay. That's how am I versus my baseline. So it's not about wearing the device right. and looking at it every day yeah. to see if your health is yeah. better than the day before. It's no, it's it's actually like how is it compared to last month, last year? Like you chronic disease, for example, creeps up on you, it doesn't just happen. Yeah. It's from habits that you do that maybe you know that creep on. Yeah. It's if you can catch yourself early on then it's almost like like you know every it, it, it's small little things that add up to big yeah things, you know? so that it, it's essentially that that's the way i look at health is the day-to-day -day doesn't really matter to me okay i want to look at it from the top down gotcha so so basically okay so it tracks your heart rate variability yeah and so we know that heart rate variability is an indicator of your stress load right mm -hmm. so how much how much stress Right. you're experiencing on your day-to-day -day life mm -hmm. so like do you can can you track and see if you're meditating and doing things that counter the effects of stress mm -hmm. like can you see improvements on like whether or not you've been living a, like like let's say you look at one week and oh i was mm -hmm. way more stressed out this week yeah and i'm doing like way better with my stress this right. week yeah you can yeah absolutely and and this, the stress can be divided into acute stress which everyone has and everyone will have um, you know, you teach your body to be more resilient to stress. You know, you can't, you know, I, I think we look at that in an acute sense, like yes, meditation will help you feel better in the, in the sympathetic and the parasympathetic will get balanced out. Yeah. Um, and then there's chronic stress, which again, that's kind of a longer term thing where, which potentially that's where again chronic disease i'm going to keep saying that because that's stress. Because chronic, yeah, chronic, chronic stress disease, can like yeah, make us ill. So you hear that guys? Chronic stress will make you sick. Well, yeah, because your, your your fight or flight systems are up and uh, on guard when yeah. they shouldn't be. Yeah. Um. So so chronic stress is the one that you really want to look out for, and that's what baseline. And that and your device can show you that. Correct. It can yeah. show you if you're living in a state of chronic stress. Well, it's interpreted as such. I right? know we don't yeah. say, hey, you know, red alert, you're stressed. Yeah. Uh. Again, we. But if you're yeah. but if you're looking at your, you can see trends Correct. that kind of are indicative of like what chronic stress might look like. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. And, and again, um, you know, our bodies change over time in different environments. Uh, you know, when I go into high climates, uh, for example, something elevated, my, my body's under stress actually, and I'm not used to this environment. And then you start acclimatizing. Your yeah. bodies are adaptive machines. Totally. Um, and, and you can yeah. see this though. You can yeah, see all you of it. Yeah, you can measure all of it. Yeah, That's amazing. It, yeah. it takes me two and a half days to uh, acclimatize when I'm, you know, when I was in Big Bear like last year, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, it was it's fun because I can see how quickly I adapt, and, and so everyone takes a different amount of time. But but your your body is built to adapt, and you can see that in HRV, which is awesome. So you're wearing one. Can I see it? Yeah, absolutely. This is the uh, this is the BioStrap wristband here. So let's let's see real quick. Yeah. So so basically, this it comes on and off 
uh, pretty pretty easily, and it stays on really well. Yeah. You can see that, and it's got this little sensor here. It's a little sensor with the pulse oximeter yeah. and and uh, everything that you need. And then this goes on your wrist on the inside? On the other top. On the top. Okay. So then that's what's tracking you all day long. Correct. Or all night when you sleep. And this yeah. will actually this will actually also show me my sleep quality. Correct, yeah. Really? So, so yeah, I mean just like what you expect to check your you know, you do the sleep stages, but one step above that we do is the SPO two is the one uh, that that's kind of newer to the scene. That what that does is it measures essentially respiratory uh, issues. Essentially, people that have sleep apnea, sleep disturbance, uh, wow. any kind of breathing disorders, and like maybe you don't know if this is going on. Yeah, and and most people don't, quite frankly. A lot can, of people, can it detect snoring? Uh, <laughs> or I can, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, you can actually put it in a snoring mode. And no then, way. Yeah, you can. That's crazy. <laughs> so if you don't know if you snore or not, yeah. now you can find out. Yeah. That's awesome. I know you meant, you meant that a joke, but dude, I don't, I don't know if I snore <laughs> or not. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of people don't. And, and of course, you know, my wife tells me I snore, so I gotta address it. But uh, <laughs> so can you see how like restorative your sleep is? Like how right. much you're like actually recovering while you're asleep? Right. So there's restorative sleep, which is the deep sleep, uh, which is what you want to track. That's where you, you become essentially, uh, that's where whole human growth hormone is created. Yeah. That's where all the neurotoxins are excreted and completely, you know, regenerated. And cells. if you're an athlete, that's yeah. where you're growing. So that's like, where, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so you, in short, you want to get more deep sleep. Yeah, yeah, totally. Everybody should get more deep sleep and, and, and people that lack deep sleep are shown to have, uh, you know, depression, anxiety, these sort of things. Yeah. Um, so the goal is maximizing at least getting 30% or 20% of deep sleep, uh, throughout the night wow and, and another form of re, you know recovery is of course the heart rate variability yeah uh the time that you sleep to the time that you wake up you want to have a nice upward trend there yeah uh and then and basically the time that you wake up that's the snapshot of, of where you physiologically recovered that okay capture. and check this out guys so you guys probably everybody that's watching this podcast already know, probably knows this but like your health is entirely dependent generally speaking on your quality of sleep so like if you have a really poor circadian rhythm, that's like when you go to sleep and when you wake up and you're not getting good quality of sleep or you're an insomniac and you can barely sleep like a couple hours of night, that's going to have like dramatic effects on your health. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're tracking your heart rate variability and mm -hmm. your stress trends, that'll be indicative of like how you fall asleep and how you stay asleep. And then you can actually read your quality of sleep while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And so how does this thing, so how do you read this data? It connects to an app? Correct. Yeah. We have an app that uh, makes it pretty simple. Uh, here, this is my app if you want me to put it in the screen. Yeah. So this is just my last night. It was an awesome night of sleep there. That's awesome. It recovered about 57%, but uh, I'll show you here. Yeah. So we can talk about it. But uh, yeah, so really makes it super easy to understand, you know, my sleep quality was good, but just because you had this good sleep quality doesn't mean you physiologically recover all okay. the time. So right here on the front one, we've got steps, active calories, resting heart rate, heart rate variability, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation, then all the sleep metrics and the overall rate of recovery. Mm -hmm. And that's actually day by day and week by week. This is yeah, amazing. Like Look at my last name, it was really good. Yeah. This is absolutely incredible. So how so this thing is connecting via Bluetooth? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And that and it needs to this year it doesn't need to be close to your phone to track the data. No, no. The the device itself will collect data until your phone's near you. Until it's close to you, yeah. and then it automatically syncs and uploads right. it. This is yeah. this is like the coolest thing I've ever heard of. Yeah. So are you are you um how does it compare to like a Fitbit or one of sure. these other things on the market? So nobody's those the mainstream ones, uh, bar, you know, minus a few of them, are tracking heart heart variability, which uh, is a huge opportunity. They for aren't. Them. No, they're not. Fitbit tracking. or not? No. What are they? What is it tracking? Uh, steps and heart rates, I think. Okay, so and it's tracking your heart rate and yeah. your how many steps yeah. you're taking per yeah. day. And heart rate and heart variability are very different. Things. Oh yeah, because heart rate is like the the rate like your beats your your Correct. beats per minute. Correct. Okay, so heart rate is your beats per minute, which doesn't really show you that much. Right. Right. But heart it's still rate good varies. to track the resting heart rate. I think is the most important one because it tells you how much stress your heart is under. Well, should be no stress at all. Yeah. So yeah. if you want that the lower the lower the number, the better. And some of these things, by the way, everybody are like in modern science, where we know are directly associated to risk of heart disease. Right. So if you really want to know what's going on with your stress 
and and you're and, and decreasing the risk of heart disease, get one of these devices because I'm not saying that it can cure anything because that's illegal. <laughs> but and we're not making any health claims on the show ever. But we're talking about like we know scientifically that that uh, that chronic stress is indicative right. of heart disease and other right. all kinds of other depression and all these other problems. Right. So by 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 changing all the variables in your life that are making you chronically stressed out and then knowing for sure mm -hmm. that it's making changes, right. you can dramatically potentially improve your overall Correct. health. Correct. And and one of the coolest things is that you can try things and see its impact directly in your in your biometrics, which is I yeah. think kind of gives you a test bed of like like a little experiment lab, so to speak. It's like, yeah. okay, let me try this new protocol, I'm going to start taking uh, magnesium at night, gotcha. or maybe I'll take CBD at night. And then you can see. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I typically like to do things for extended amounts of time just yeah. to see. And, and it's, it's cool because I can see the data and, and see how, what magnitude of effect it has, Okay. if any. And so, so really this is, like, this is like the ultimate tool for a biohacker, for someone that like dramatically is doing all of these different things in their life. All the exercise routines and diets and supplements and plants and herbs and cannabinoids and sure. like biotechnologies. Like this is the one thing that every single biohacker has to have because it's like actually showing you quantitative data on how all these you know biohacks are right. actually impacting your health right. and you can see it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important to be data driven, I think. You know that's that's the world I live in. Yeah. Uh, and really, if something's gonna have bold claims, I want to see it work in front of my eyes. Totally. And that's that's what I do on a daily basis. And it's nice, like we can tell, like, oh, I feel better today than I did right. like, like a couple of days ago or whatever. But to right. actually like see quantitative that's data on all these variables is incredible. Totally. Especially with stress correlation, because like literally everybody, stress and sleep, two of the most important things, other than like breathing and hydration mm -hmm. and yeah. eating the right foods like you need to have optimal stress and sleep absolutely because that's foundation yeah, yeah that's like yeah. the foundation of human health yeah yeah absolutely amazing okay cool um so i'm super impressed with this technology i'm definitely going to get one is there anything else you want to tell us about it um it's uh I, i'm just i'm just excited to be in the field i have this passion for helping people really really figure out what works for them. I, I, I feel there's a lot of snake oil out there. Right? Yeah. And, and really, again, I, I'm just uh, I'm trying to make an impact and help people sleep better, uh, find good habits. You know, I think it's all about behaviors, like figure out what works for you. What works for you might not work for me and vice versa. So I think everyone, you know, in, in, in to good health really is really what I'm trying to build a product that helps people figure out their individuality and figure out what works for me and then find good habits. Yeah. And that's, that's really the whole point of this. Totally. And this is the perfect mirror so that you can actually see that happening. Right. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Okay. Right. Well, we're going to try and have that for sale on metahuman.com. You can also get it from biostrap.com. Right. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. This has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank you. Okay. See you guys.